Hey, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I am back. And yeah, I did play this one years ago, but as we all know, I did say I was going to uh, work in some uh, redos of the old ones now that I'm actually, you know, HD, better mic, etc., etc. So we can see how this does. This is Nelson Tethers, 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 Nelson Tethers, Puzzle Agent. Uh, made by the defunct and dead, uh, Telltale Games. Sorry. I've already forgotten them. I've already half forgotten them. The Jedgar Who's It's building! I hate that guy! Okay, I, I have a reason for it. It's not just irrational hatred. Uh, check out my playthrough of Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth, and you will see my hatred of that guy is totally justified. All right, crossword. Astronomer's note, new moon. Okay. And he works for the puzzle division of the FBI. I don't think that's a real thing. And he's got a big old bowl of gum on his desk because it helps him think. Yeah, gum, chewing gum will be our, uh, what you call it, hint. The, 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 t the tokens we use to purchase hints if we need them. I'm going to try not to need them too often. Okay. So here we are. Astronaut? Unexpected astronaut! Um, that's my crossword puzzle. Jeez, some guy goes to the moon and thinks he can just butt in. Okay, what's it say? Bum, 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 bum. Man, this guy must be ugly. Judging by Nelson's reaction. Okay, <laughs> and apparently Nelson Tethers is a bit of an overreaction baby. Oh, my puzzle. He just looks so surprised to look down and see that he tore up his puzzle. All right. Over there, it's over here. That's the top. I mean, that's the top. That's, I mean, okay, both of these are part of the top. All right, you'll know you get it right, even if you have no idea what you're doing, because the pieces will fuse. See? Look at that. Ah, oh, yeah. Ins. Ins. Innsmouth! No, wait, it ends in it. Never mind. This is not Call of Cthulhu all over again. But it was a good theory. Scoggins! Okay, why the hell am I having to spend taxpayer... $75,000 of taxpayer money on a puzzle in my own de at my own desk. That's ridiculous. All right. Yeah, I'm the top agent. Good for me. Oh, spider. Uh, puzzle research. This is Agent Tethers. I, I think you have the wrong number. Totally. Oh, I see. A an assignment. In the field. No, no, sir, it's it's just, it's been, yes, quite some time. Uh-huh. Erasers? The foundation of democracy? Oh, absolutely, sir. I agree, sir. Oh, yes, the White House needs its erasers, sir. Erasers are not the, the foundation to... of democracy. Wait, where? Scoggins. Dun-dun-dun! Just like the dream astronaut said. I knew it was something special. Nelson Tethers, puzzle agent, headed deep into the bowels of Scoggins, Minnesota. Or Scoggins there, don't you know? All right. This is an example of a puzzle game done right, in my opinion. The puzzles are fun, 
and the in-between parts are funny, creepy, and awesome. And hilarious in places. You know, it's not a laugh riot start to finish, but you know, just I'm not arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. Did you know? Population seven hundred fifty-four. Temperature mm, cold. It's cold. <laughs> not much to look at. According to the agency, there's some kind of situ in thing going on at the local eraser factory. The whole plant is shut down. All right. There's a weird man staring at me. Hopefully, this won't be a big waste of time. <clears throat> Hopefully, you won't be a big Agent waste of Tether's time. Out. All right, I don't think you have to say over and out when you're oh, doing I a personal recording. I have no recording. idea where my hotel is. I might have to ask for directions. Then do so. Don't just stand there talking about it. Creepy man! Excuse me. I'm Nelson Tethers with the FBI's Department of Puzzle Research. Hello? Yeah. Okay, and you are? Bjorn. Okay. Bjorn? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bjorn. Boy, those snowmobiles sure are a bumpy ride, eh? Yeah. So were you Bjorn before? And if so, it's nice to know you're Bjorn again. Can you give me directions to the nearest hotel? I'm having a little trouble finding my way around. You'd never get there. Roads are too slick. Sir, I'm an agent of the FBI's Puzzle Research Division. It can't be harder than the puzzles I see every day. Not so. It's really just a, a matter of trajection. Okay, on the way to the hotel, you're going to pass two traffic lights. Alrighty. Nelson Snowmobile is slamming road around the logs to help him bump his way to the hotel. Make sure to pass the traffic lights Bjorn mentioned along the way. Drag logs from the menu onto the game grid. A log can be dragged from any free spa onto any free space. Start heading south and hit the log will bank left to right depending on the logs on the station. Missing every stoplight on his way to the hotel. Okay. So, but, but doink. Um, but doink. But doink. And say doink. Doing, doing, and then doing. Actually, I don't even have to use that one. I could just put this here, I think. Yes. Yes. So far, so good. Wee! Ha ha! Okay. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Doing good. my click. How very odd. And what the hell? Bjorn, you troll! Um, I must have gotten lost. I thought your directions were taking me to the hotel. They did. Uh... I'm standing in front of the hotel, aren't I? <laughs> a lot. Welcome. <laughs> I'm here to investigate an incident at the Scoggins Eraser Factory. Do you know anything about it? No. The hotel's going to close soon. Better check in if you're sticking around. All right. Seen any suspicious people hanging around the hotel lately? Yep. yep. Really? You? Can you describe them? Skinny. Asks lots of questions. Wears a stupid hat. Thanks for the tip. Yep. Dick. All right. Inspect the fence. 
discovered a fence. Boards all chewed up something terrible. Could be the work of strays trying to get to the dumpsters back there. I don't know why I'm reporting this. <laughs> I just love his exp I don't know why I'm reporting this. Alrighty, go inside the hotel. Hello! How are you? Who that? Excuse me, you look perplexed. Puzzles. So many puzzles. Puzzles? I might be able to help you with that. Bo has swallowed a rubber band again. His x-ray shows only tapeworms, or does it? Rotate the segments of the pesky parasites to reveal the hidden object. Ew! Ew, that's gross! Wait. No, 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 that's right. That's right. That looks... No? Yes. No? That's as close to right as we're going to get, I guess. Alright. No. No? No. Okay, I think that's it, but I'm not entirely sight. Ah, go! Wasted money. Okay. At least it doesn't start me over. Um. Oh. This piece is wrong, I guess. I. Oh. Alright. So there's multiple ways it looks like it could line up. That's, that's, that's a pain in the butt right there. Alright. Alright, this time I think I got it. There we go. Okay, I was thrown off by a piece that... Yeah, yeah, one wrong answer. Bite me. One wrong answer knocks off three Salt. stars. Screw well, you. Maybe you can relax a little. With the uh, whispers. If it's an acrostical enigma. Maybe it's a Baltimore trans deletion. What? The whispers? Or not. Okay. Gum. Well, these are interesting. Yeah, those are Scoggins gnomes. All the tourists love them. But I think one has gone missing. I swear, I had six of them. I took a picture when I set it up, but I guess I lost it. I still have the film negative, though. Shrimp gnomes appear, but which gnome? I don't have the gnome in the photo negative that doesn't appear in the display. All right. So, if that's that, then the green hats will appear as red and vice versa. I had a call, but it just says telemarketer, so forget you. Um. No. No. Ah. There we go, because it's negative. The colors are reversed and they're flipped around. So that can be a real pain in the butt. <coughs> Top agent. Heck yeah. Well, one of your gnomes has most definitely run off. Oh my, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> All righty. I like that wherever you click, it gives you a little radar that tells you if there's anything you want to do. Hello. 
Well, hello there, mister. Welcome to Valda's Inn. I'm Martha Garrett, but everyone calls me Ma. How can I help you? I'm Nelson Tethers. So who's Valda? I have a reservation. Oh, yeah, you're here about the Eraser Factory, eh? We're awfully excited to have a real FBI man in our town. It's just like TV, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to make some hot dish for you later. A uh, hot dish? Oh, you'll love it. I've never met a man who didn't love himself some hot dish. There is no static recipe for hot dish. I looked into this out of curiosity years ago when I first played this. It's like goulash. There's a million different recipes it could be. So, uh, what room am I in? Yeah, okay. I've got your room right here. Right where? Oh, dear. This is so embarrassing. The night clerk wrote down your room number in code. Hmm. Mind if I have a look? I bet I can figure out what room I'm in. Alrighty. Well, it's pretty obvious if you... Once you see it, you almost cannot unsee it. The bars mean nothing except they're filling out the outline. It's the letters. N-I-N-E in the white spaces. Alrighty then. Top agent. There you go, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, yeah, now I see. Okay then, here's your room key, FBI man. Thank you. This place is hardly full, so even if the room was written in code, I bet Actually, there were empty rooms. While I have you here, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Real quick, I promise. Oh yeah, of course. Oh yeah, you mind? Oh. How do I get to the factory from here? The FBI doesn't know where the factory is? Oh dear, our moose is cooked. Rest assured, ma'am, the FBI just likes to confirm intelligence with civilian knowledge of we like to double check things. <laughs> oh, of course. Well, it's easy. I have a tourist map of our little town of Scoggins right here. Thank you. You know, our Scoggins erasers is the plant that supplies the White House with all of its erasers. That's probably why they said an FBI agent. The president agent. could be fixing a mistake with a Scoggins eraser right now. Yes, ma'am. Not gonna That's comment. why I'm here. That and the fact that every time the Bureau made an inquiry into the situation, all we ever got back were bizarre puzzles. Oh yeah, well, that'll happen. <laughs> Do you know anything about the problem at the factory? Yeah, so tragic about the accident, huh? Accident? Oh yeah, the foreman, Isaac Davner, they say he was killed in there. Is that so? Well, not to be gossipy, but I heard the accident was caused by raccoons. Oh my. Raccoons? Yeah, little creatures Trash that live pandas. in the woods around the factory. Maybe you should go talk to Sheriff Bog about it, though. You should be able to catch him out by the factory right now. Okay, okay I'll do that. Thank, Thank you. you. The guy in the lobby, is he okay? Oh, that's Bo Murphy. He's always been a bit of an odd one. Yeah, he sits there all day trying to do his puzzles. He mostly keeps to himself, and I bring him some food from time to time. Aww. Sometimes I swear he'd starve to death if I didn't bring him something to eat. Well, thank you for all of that. Thanks. Well, goodbye. Enjoy your stay. Oh, that reminds me. Do you have any gum for sale? Or know where I can buy some? Dear, we've been out of gum for quite some time. What? Haven't seen a stick in months anywhere in town. We tend to get shipments of things like that in the spring. So, no gum? No nope. gum. Gum helps me concentrate. So, yeah, he's gonna have to rely on already chewed gum. <laughs> yeah. And yep, he's like, am I really that desperate? <laughs> That's another reason I don't like using the hint system. It requires chewing gum. <laughs> Uh, can I get Got anything any out of more here? puzzles you need help with? Puzzles. No new puzzles yet. Brain's always thinking, thinking about puzzles. Yeah, I'll I know. I'll just check in on you later. Okay. Bye bye. All right, we're out the door. The residents of Scoggins seem nice enough. 
Aside from one wild goose chase, everyone's been cooperative. Well, as far as rambling... Plus, it looks like I'm primed for all the hot dish I can eat. It remains to be seen if that's a good thing. Presumably it is. I got a map from the hotel owner, so I'm heading over to the eraser factory. Agent Tether is out. Am I supposed to be saying that? I don't think so. It's not a... Out is so someone knows you're done talking and then they can talk. All right. Brum, 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 brum. Ooh, factory. Okay. So we're heading to the Scoggins Eraser Factory. Don't you know there? Sorry, don't you know is the only Minnesota Turk slang I know. Come. How you doing there, buddy? Yeah, I'm uh, Nelson Tethers of the FBI's Department of Puzzle... Agent Tethers, good to meet you. We got a real mess here. Yes, we do. We do? Oh, yes. It's going to be a while before we can get this factory running again. But my job is to get this factory back to making erasers. Agent Tethers, you're in a right pickle. Well, I should probably ask you some questions about the incident then. That's what I'd do if I was a big, important FBI boy. Oh, great. He's going to be a dick about it. What was this incident? Well, we don't need to be dramatic. What happened? There was an explosion. What? Oh, yeah. A big explosion. And the foreman just never came home. Bummer. When did the accident take place? Well, I've been trying to figure that out myself. Here's what I know. Rest easy, guard service was employed to keep watch over the factory from midnight to midnight yesterday. For other statements, can you determine the time of the big noise? Sure I can! Boom! One hour before the last shift started. I got the shortest shift, three hours. Only Bernie put in the full eight hours. And I worked from six until I was relieved. Alrighty. So... What am I supposed to do? What? Okay. Oh, okay, I set the clock. Okay. So if he wears... Okay. So... Iggy worked from six... So, oh wait, if they only work from 12 to 12, then he was 6, 6 a.m. So, eight. Please work. All righty. And apparently, the Final Fantasy music is the only victory music I know. Oh well. If there was an explosion at that time, wouldn't the icicles on the building have been knocked off? Good point. Maybe they grew back. What happened to the foreman? My notes don't have a lot of details. Well, we're still trying to figure that out. One day after work, Mr. Dabner just never came home. The accident was pretty bad. Oh, is there, uh... Is there a body? Nope. He's just gone. Isaac Davner's his name, if you don't have that in your notes. We don't even know if he died in that explosion? Won't be able to find that out till we find a way into the factory. What did your investigation turn up? Not much. I can't figure out how to get past this lock. Well, it's missing a well, gear, dummy. That's because it's missing a piece. I can see that just by looking at it. So it is. I guess that's why you make the big bucks, right? That's right, sir. Well, I don't seem to be getting a lot of answers. Listen, why don't you meet me down at the Moose Ear Diner later? I have some files related to the case that you might be able to help me with. Oh, okay, but I really think... Agent Tethers, it's a pleasure working with you. You're doing a great job. I'll meet you at the Moose Ear in a bit. Okay, it's hard to tell if he's just a dick or if he's actually covering. Because he could just be resenting the FBI coming and hmm. stomping all over his case. 
Yeah, it's missing a piece. I don't have a gear. So, moose ear diner it is. I sure hope they don't serve moose ears. Seriously. And if they do, I hope they serve other things too. Okay, who wants a diner in the middle of nowhere? Hi! Wave back, asshole! That's... How rude! Everybody here is awful! Excuse me. I see you're working on your sign. Is it safe for me to go into the diner? Excuse me. Gotta fix the sign. Okay. Maybe they should give Nelson a taser or a gun. Something wrong with your sign? Because these guys deserve some. Well, not uh, the gun, I said, but. Is there something wrong with you, a cop? I ain't got time for cops. I'm not a cop. Look, I gotta get this sign fixed before it gets dark. I don't want to be out here after dark. If you know what I mean. I don't actually. What do you mean by that? It's just a fuse, but I can't remember which one it is. Not with all the whispers in my head. Then why are you hammering on it? Whispers? Get the fuse for me. I'm getting cold out here. Never fuse. Alrighty, um... Okay, oh. Alrighty. One, two. Oh, they look like mirrored numbers. That's pretty easy. That should do it. Hey, what do you know? This ought to keep the little buggers away. Little. What? Well, I gotta finish getting this sign mounted. See you later. Those raccoons well, are trouble. We'll see. I don't suppose you know anything about the eraser factory accident? Don't suppose I do. Did you know Isaac Davner? Nope, not much. Heard he had some kind of accident. Feel bad for his wife, Glory. Such a pretty girl. I should really talk to her. Do you know where I can find her? Yes, I do. And... So, where can I find her? Inside. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Everybody's staring at me. How about you keep your eyes to yourself, buddy? <laughs> this is awkward. Okay, Glory's not staring at me, neither is Boggs, but... Wood shavings. Wood Davers! There's some tobacco on the oh, counter. Oh, tobacco. It smells like cherry. I guess the waitress hasn't been in much of a cleaning mood lately. Lots of people to Hi talk there. to. I'm Agent Tethers with the FBI. Sir, you seem stressed. Do you know something about the factory you'd like to let me in on? I don't know anything. Sir, it's against the law to withhold information or lie to a federal agent. Yeah. Yeah, I'm into some stuff. Who are you? So, what's your name? Puddentane. Steve. Sir, I'm here about the factory. If you've got nothing to do with it, then, however you spend your time doesn't concern me. There's nothing you can tell me about the factory. I don't co-mingle with the factory folk. You haven't heard about anything suspicious going on, have you? Nothing more than usual. Kind of an ass, really. Alrighty, stuff. What stuff are you into? I airlift wooden gnomes out of Scoggins. With birds. To where? Why? How? Black market trinket rings. Big money. Couldn't you just use the mail? 
Okay, loner Steve trains birds transport freight. It's nice if everybody forgot to note the quantity. Can you determine the number of gnomes? Each type of bird has a certain weight limit. Each bird is shown carrying the maximum it can. Birds can team up on heavy loads. Freight must be balanced evenly between a bird's two legs. Okay. So. Okay, and then wait, what? So what's with the rocks? I mean the the opaque packages. Okay, so we know there's one, two, three, four, five. Well, yeah, I don't need to count. Them. I think I succeeded. Yep. Ba -na 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 etc. Etc. Air mailing. Yep. Another puzzle solved. Did they ask you? Hello, gentlemen. A bit early for a lunch break, isn't it? Until the eraser factory opens again, Daryl and I have nowhere else to go. Yeah, me and Daryl got nowhere else to go. Oh, that's great. Then you don't mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, yeah. As soon as I get these bugs back in place. What? Why do you have bugs in a diner? You gonna help or not? <laughs> Okay. Daryl's famous insects on a box now begin by streamlines made adjoining points. Alright. Enclose all the bugs in the fewest number of lines. And Okay. Each green gray screen needs three sprays of territory. Pink puddle paddler needs two. All right. Pretty much need to close them in like that. And then... I may have worked on some of these off camera before doing this. This is wasting a lot of taxpayer money on dumb things. There we go. Look at that. He did it. Yes. Now, will you answer my questions? Sure. Fire them at me. Where are your pants? What do you know about the guy fixing the sign outside? Randall Scroffman. Weird guy. He thinks the trees talk to him. Yeah, but he sure picked the right line of work. He's gonna be employed forever. Stuff always needs fixing. I think he looks extra hard for stuff to fix around here. Yeah, so he can be close to Glory. She's the waitress here. Sweeter than moose milk in the morning. Blah. Do you guys know what happened to the foreman? Yeah, the lobster bit. <coughs> Shut up, Daryl. Daryl, mother brother Daryl. What do you mean a lobster bit him? He means Mike Lobb. Mike and Isaac didn't get along all the time. Had a little bit of a fight. That's because Isaac thought he was smarter <coughs> than all of us floor guys. Hell, he probably is. No, he ain't. Just because he's a college boy don't make him smart. Makes him edgy. Possibly, depending on his grades, it makes him educated. But no, it does not make him smart. You two are employed at the factory. Would you say it's a safe place to work? As safe as any other place, I guess. Yeah, except the new wing is haunted. <coughs> no, it isn't. You better quit listening to those hippies. Why do you think the new wing is haunted? When the factory expanded, we built a new wing. A bunch of locals got angry we had to clear out part of the forest to do it. Because spirits live in the forest. You mentioned something about spirits in the forest. Who's Really? Depends on who you ask. You won't see me out in the woods after sundown. Well, me neither. But there ain't no spirits. <laughs> Thanks, gentlemen. Anytime. Alrighty. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, miss? Waitress lady? Welcome to the Moose Ear Diner. I'll be right with you. 
Can I help you with that? Rearranging rations. Gloria is distracted by the puzzle of food. Fit all the food items in a plate so that none of them overlap. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. I guess suppose. So let's start by moving everything off the plate. Oh good, the sausage links are not independent of each other. I was afraid they would be. Alrighty. Who the heck wants two pieces of asparagus? So, wait, what? Oh, it's just like the... Okay, so it, it is just like the other puzzle where when I find the right place for something it will automatically slot into place and um, won't move again. Yep. So you can just solve it by trial and error. Um, oh, right. Hold on. There we go. Ugh. The game needs, like, a hard mode where the stuff doesn't automatically link together. There you go. Delicious. Thanks. So, uh, what's good here? I don't know. It's all fine. Oh, okay. What's your name? Lori Davner. Oh, haha. Uh -huh. So, I'm Nelson. Are you feeling okay? Yes. No. I'm just thinking about my husband. What's wrong with your husband, ma'am? Is he okay? He will be. Well, I'm with the FBI's Department of Puzzles Research. I need to ask you a few questions. An accident at the eraser factory caused it to shut down. Do you know anything about that? Of course I do. What have you heard? Uh, well, nothing really. I mean, just that it was an accident like everyone says. The factory foreman, she looks Isaac Davner. He was your husband? She doesn't yes. just look worried, she looks... Oh, I'm so sorry. Like. There's not much in my files about him. That's okay. He's a great man. I'm so proud of him. For? Just so proud. Oh, okay. The repairman outside seems a bit odd. Anything I should know about him? Well, I think he's got a bit of a crush on me, but he's harmless. Could he have hurt your husband to get to you? <laughs> oh no, he wouldn't hurt a fly. He even avoids stepping on rocks so he won't accidentally hurt any critters living below. I Aww. wish people wouldn't tease him for that, Daryl. Okay, so Daryl's the town jerk? Has the factory closure affected business? Yeah. People tend to hang around here longer now that they aren't going to work. Normally, that'd be a good thing, but I've been pretty distracted. I see that. Maybe I can help. Dinners and dishes. When these three couples walked into a girl, I knew what each would order. She was wrong, and now she's forgotten who gets what. Here's what she does recall. Nobody ordered a meal resembling their spouse. One lady ordered a meal resembling the fish-eating man sitting next to her. And one patron resembles his or her meal. And the ham should just be next, in, next to the banana split. Okay. Okay, so somebody looks like their meal. Oh, great! Everybody looks like one of their friggin' meals. Onion rings are not a meal by themselves. These poor people, they're freaks. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be like that, but dude. Um... Okay, can I see the rules again? Okay, nobody ordered a meal resembling their spouse. And only one person remember resembles their meal. 
All right. Okay. So she looks like a chicken. He looks like a Sunday. I don't know. Is he a, a bison? I don't know. Uh, fish, onion, and pig. All right. So... Okay, so rules. Nobody resembling, one lady resembling the fish eating man next to her. Okay, this is the only woman next to two men. So. Fish eating man next to her. Okay. Only one person remembers the meal, so she's not fish. And I've already put a plate on his, so he's not onion rings. Uh, okay. Okay. Excuse me. Man, that's a big burger. Come on. Woo! Da -na -na -na. Na -na 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 -na. All right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. That wasn't so tough. Yeah, I guess not. Could I have a bit more of your time, ma'am? Sure. Oh, I don't need any more. All right, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, or subscribe. Or not, I'm not the boss of you. Good night.